It is not easy to run a marathon, and if you have a physical disability on top of it, you've got an even tougher challenge. But it's a challenge one local man is taking head on. Mike Conine brings us his story. Greg Wagner wants to run the 2010 Boston Marathon in three hours and 30 minutes. The only person who can hold you back is yourself. Covering 26.2 miles is an ambitious goal for any runner, even more so for Greg. There's only so much force that my right side can withstand before it gives out. At age three, he suffered a ruptured brain aneurysm and a stroke. His doctors expected the worst. My pediatrician basically told my parents that they were going to medevac me to Children's, but that I wasn't going to be alive when I got there and not to expect anything. But here I am, you know, now 22 years later and nobody can even tell really. Today, Greg is constantly working out. Oh, at least six days a week, maybe twice a day. His dad used to beg him to ease up at the gym, but to no avail. Uh, he doesn't listen to me if I do, so I've given up, and he's 25 years old. We're sort of past that point. Permanent nerve damage left the right side of Greg's body weak and numb. So when he runs, he's putting all his weight on his left foot. I'll do anywhere to 90 minutes to two hours of stretching a day on my left leg. Greg competed in the 2008 Boston Marathon, but an injury forced him to limp to the finish line. He says he's running this year to prove himself and to inspire others. But Greg is living proof that no matter what you can do or what you want to do, if you put your mind to it, you can do anything. Greg's next big goal is to get his autobiography published. He also writes a blog. We've posted a link on our website, wjla.com. Reporting in the news from Mike Kinnean, ABC 7 News. Good luck to him. What a spirit. Yeah. Oh, good luck is right.